Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. I'm Abby, nice to meet you. I wasn't sure what I was gonna put up this week. I was looking at like the list on my phone of videos that I wanted to do and I decided that I was just gonna do a regular old Q&A. Haven't done a Q&A for a while. A lot of the time I do like Q&A live streams but nobody really asks questions, we just like talk a lot. <laughs> so I decided that today we could do a Q&A video. Um, I asked you guys on Instagram to send me in questions and I got plenty. So let's get started. Started. First question is, are you gonna make a Discord server? I already have one. <laughs> Had one for quite some time. I have been linking it in my videos, but I haven't really been talking about it too much. But I did get a new Discord server, I don't know, like two months ago, maybe more than that. Second question, how do you like your eggs and can we go ride the Leviathan together this summer? To answer your second question, I loved the Leviathan. I actually overrode it for the first time when I went to Canada's Wonderland two years ago. Was it two years ago? Or three years ago? I think it was two years ago with my brother and my sister-in-law. And I loved Leviathan, it was so fun. So um, if I go this summer and you happen to be there, absolutely freaking lootly, that would be so much fun. How do you like your eggs? Um, either scrambled, but I'm really picky about my eggs. <laughs> or I think it's sunny side up when like you fry the egg like on both sides, but the middle of it is still runny, like the yolk. Do you know how much I love and appreciate you? Every time I do a Q&A, you send me this question. So, yes, Phoenix, I do know how much you love and appreciate me. Hey, video. Hello, Abby, how are you? I am good, Javon. Thank you for asking. Um, today, I have a little bit of a migraine, but that is because I slept in way too long. I slept until like nine, which to most people is probably nothing. But for me, I usually wake up between like 5.45 and like 7.30 at the latest usually for work. So waking up that late makes my brain hurt so bad. How much money to marry you, thanks? You could do it for free because I like you. What's your favorite show at the moment? Honestly, I've had the same favorite shows for years and years and years. I don't really pick up new shows too often. I don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> My dog just fucking barfed and I heard her go, <gasps> she did it again. I think my dog drank way too much water because she just threw up. Well, at least she made the sounds of throwing up. <laughs> my dog is so gross. Anyways, I've had, <laughs> are you serious? Stop. Just, uh... So my favorite TV shows of all time are Friends and How I Met Your Mother, um, Gilmore Girls, what other shows do I love? Vampire Diaries, like those are my favorite shows of all time. At the moment, I don't really have too many favorite shows. Like the one show that I'm really keeping up with is Catfish, which obviously I love Catfish so much. But one thing that is like kind of different than like my usual is I have a new favorite YouTuber to watch, which I right now have watched three years worth of Jack's Films videos in like a week. That is so many yays. That is obnoxious, but he is so funny. If you guys want a good comedy video, go watch a yay or go watch a Your Grammar Sucks videos because like videos, wow, Your Grammar Sucks video because that is my favorite thing that he does is Your Grammar Sucks. Have you watched or do you watch Doctor Who? If so, thoughts? I don't watch Doctor Who. The only thing I know about Doctor Who I learned from Tumblr like way back in the day when like Sherlock and Doctor Who were like the main two things. If you could have anything you desire, what would it be? A free trip to Disney World. <laughs> How many eggs do you think you can eat in around 14 minutes? One, because my stomach hates eggs. <laughs> I feel so sick when I eat eggs, especially first thing in the morning. Like my stomach starts like spasming. It hurts so bad. What type of phone do you have? I have a really shitty old iPhone 6s. This isn't a question, but I love you. I love you too, Jay. What is your vision for yourself in five years? How about 10 years? Five years, hopefully I'm either married or engaged. So like, apparently I have to find a guy, but oh my God, dating is such a hassle. I say that when I'm like making dates with people, like <laughs> it's such a hassle. Um, 10 years, hopefully, you know, I've got kids, I have like a career, not just a job. In five years, actually, I hope this is one of my dreams. I don't really wanna put it out into the world too much because I don't, I don't know if it's ever gonna come true, but I would love to work at Disney or for Disney in some capacity. Even at like a Disney store, I would love to work at. If you were given a cat right now, what name would you give them for? Oh, what would you give them for a name? If it was a girl, Minnie. If it was a boy, Mickey. I am such a Disney 
nerd, and I'm 25. <laughs> if you had a free day and a budget of $100, what would you do? My best friend asked me that question, and I have no idea. Go to like an escape room? If it was like a nice day, oh no, I was gonna say go to Canada's Wonderland, but $100 is not gonna cover it. Shit. I don't know, go see some movies that I like, buy a new outfit, I don't know. What place would you want to travel the most? So this is like, I'm, ho I'm thinking that it's probably somewhere that I haven't traveled to before, which is actually a question that my friend Crystal also asked. So, a place that I haven't been but I want to go. Greece, England, Bora Bora would be great because it's beautiful there. Hawaii, just to say that I've gone there. Um, Paris, Disneyland Paris. <laughs> There's the Disney again. What's your favorite childhood memory? Every single Christmas that I ever had. My best childhood friend, Angel, she actually asked me this question and so many of them contain her when we used to play in the Barbie room, which is an entire room in her house that had Barbie stuff in it. It was dedicated to Barbies. When my mom asked us what kind of, <laughs> when my mom asked us what kind of frozen yogurt that we wanted, Angel was gonna say her answer, but I pushed Angel out of the way, ran halfway up the stairs and yelled chocolate, like chocolate! <laughs> There's so many things that happened in my childhood that were just so great. When I wore an eye patch and the first time, because I have a lazy eye in case you did not know, um, but to correct my lazy eye, I had to wear an eye patch over my good eye so that this eye would get like exercise, I guess, I don't know. And I went outside to go play with the, you know, the neighborhood kids because that's what we used to do back in the 90s. So I had my eye patch on and we decided to have a leaf fight, which we basically, we just felt up like pillowcases and garbage bags with leaves. We'd go out onto the semicircle in our street and then we'd just start beating the shit out of each other with these bags of leaves. Well, because I was kind of, I couldn't see anything on this side and this is my bad eye so everything was blurry. I was just getting whacked left and right with <laughs> bags of leaves because I didn't see anything coming from this side so it would smack me and then this side was just horrible. I was probably like six or seven too so it was like, it was a bad time. <laughs> But looking back on it, it was really good. Other good childhood memories, whenever somebody bugged me at school and then I'd tell my brother, or even like at home, like a neighborhood kid would bug me, I would tell my brother Zach and he'd just immediately go and kick the shit out of them. <laughs> I don't know why that's a good memory for me, but I don't know, which is good knowing that I had a nice little protector. Favorite friends character, definitely Chandler and Rachel are my two favorites. If I have to choose like one guy and one girl, Chandler and Rachel, 100%. What's your mom's blood type? It is something like, rare. I have, honestly have no idea what it is. I would have to ask her and then like I'll insert a little thing here that says what her blood type is. But I think that it's rare. I don't even know my blood type. What are you gonna be for Halloween? I already know what I'm gonna be for Halloween and it's a surprise but it's a really good costume in my opinion. Why did... <laughs> Not answering that one. What is your dream career? If I could have like any job in the world again it would be working at a Disney park probably, or owning my own Lush store. Being like something like in show business, like on stage, on TV, something like that. I don't know, I'm not talented, but it'd be pretty cool. When did you start to feel happy again? I hope this is okay. Serious question, okay. Truthfully, uh, still not 100% okay. I still have to take things for my anxiety when I go to bed at night because that's when my mind starts racing. I'm not distracted by anything and then I start thinking about everything and my anxiety is like through the roof so I have to take stuff for my anxiety just to make sure that I can sleep. I don't sleep throughout the night, I wake up a lot and it's always like mid anxiety attack. That's definitely something that hasn't improved whatsoever but starting to feel happy again, I don't know when it happened, just one day it kind of just like clicked where I was like I need to stop fucking being miserable. So I started hanging out with my friends more, not even just like my best friend Lauren, but like my best friend from work, Lori, I started hanging out with her outside of work. Honestly, going to work was one of like my favorite parts of the day because I got to see people and hang out with the people that knew me and I don't know, I just felt like really supported. Again, I'm still not 100% there, there's really bad days still where I don't want to feel anything so I fucking, I close myself off from the world, I don't feel anything, I'm angry. Um, but then there's other good days where, you know, like today, where I feel really good and, you know, I want to do things like make videos and do my makeup and have lush baths and make myself feel good. But there, yeah, there's still bad days, honestly. So I can't even fully answer the question. I know that I kind of like skated around and answered a bunch of different things there. I'm still not 100% there, but almost.
we're almost there, which is a good thing, guys. Other than the Snow Fairy range from Lush, what is your favorite Lush product? Um, I said this in another video, my favorite bath bomb of all time is the Golden Wonder bath bomb. I'll put a picture right here. Uh, but my actual favorite, like, regular range bath bomb is Intergalactic, which looks amazing in the bath. It is the prettiest bath that you will ever have in your entire life if you get an intergalactic bath bomb. What foundation do you use at the moment? I use the MAC Studio Fix liquid foundation and then I also use the MAC Studio Fix powder foundation over top of it. I like basically use that to set my face but it adds extra coverage and mm, so good. Would you rather have the eyebrows of Sandy Cohen or Eugene Levy? Um, I gotta post pictures of each of them right here and let me tell you, I would rather have no eyebrows than have the eyebrows of either Sandy Cohen or Eugene Levy. <laughs> Your thoughts on olives. Olives are disgusting. And those are my thoughts. Matilda or The Goonies? I hate The Goonies. So many people love The Goonies and I just, I can't stand that movie. It's just not good. So Matilda, 100%. Little girl with telekinetic powers, like my dream since I was a child. Also since I saw Carrie. I always thought telekinesis was really cool from watching Matilda. Like, ooh, look at she can move shit with her mind. And then I watched Carrie and then I was like, oh my god, telekinesis is so cool. She can move shit with her mind. How often do you have weird dreams? every single night. Well, actually, most of the dreams I have are literal nightmares. Um, it's been a issue since I was a kid. I've always had nightmares. Well, actually, I used to have night terrors when I was a kid. Now it's just like only nightmares. I don't dream. I don't have normal dreams. It's just nightmares. What did you want to be when you were younger? I wanted to be a singer or a veterinarian and neither of those things happened. How do you de-stress? So this is actually something we literally had to make plans for in college. I went to school for child and youth work and we had to make self-care plans because when you're working in the environments that child and youth workers work in, like group homes, um, detention centers, even schools, like it can become extremely stressful and you bring a lot of your work home with you. So we had to make self-care plans. Every single year we had to make new ones. So honestly, the way that I de-stress right now is either picking up a book, reading, taking a bath, sometimes I do the same, those two at the same time, turning off my phone or my computer and just like sitting and watching a movie sometimes really helps just not thinking about the outside world and just like being immersed in a movie or a book. And uh, weirdly enough, this is gonna sound so like privileged, but shopping makes me feel really good. <laughs> If you could live your life as a cereal mascot, which one would it be? If I could live as any cereal mascot, it would 100% be the rabbit from Trix. Or maybe the rabbit for Nesquik, cause, okay, apparently also in the States you don't have Nesquik cereal. This is Nesquik cereal, delicious. So I would either be the rabbit from Trix or the rabbit from Nesquik, but I think I'd rather be the rabbit from Nesquik because if you're the rabbit for Trix, people are always telling you that Trix are only for kids, which is bullshit. So maybe I'll just be the Nesquik rabbit. <laughs> If you had to trade in your car for an animal and ride it to work, what would it be? An alpaca, though I don't think that it would be able to move very fast, or a giraffe, because I love giraffes. And the mascot at my work is a giraffe. How long ago was your breakup? Sorry, kind of personal. I was broken up with the day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, and that's Canadian Thanksgiving, the real Thanksgiving, which maybe I should have seen that the relationship was supposed to end because two Thanksgivings in a row uh, in the relationship, we were arguing and fighting, so I just, like, I didn't, you know, if you spend Thanksgiving not thankful for somebody, I don't think that you should be with that person, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I think maybe the universe was giving me warning signs. Uh, cats slash dogs. Also, do you have a pet? Show me. This right here is Merida. She's my big, fat kitty cat. She is huge, but she's super cute. Look at her little face. This is Bailey. She's my yellow lab. She's really stinky and stupid. I'm not gonna show you my turtle because then I'll have to wash my hands because you're not supposed to touch turtle tank water and anything like that because you know you can get salmonella because of their poop and it's just so not worth it. How's Harry the Otter doing? Harry Otter is doing great. What's your favorite movie and why? So my favorite movie of all time is Bambi because it holds a lot of nostalgia for me and I love Bambi. You can see right there I have a little Bambi. But like favorite movie other than Disney. I ha don't really choose favorite movies, but I choose, well, I do. I don't have one favorite movie. I have a favorite movie for each genre. So like for comedy movies, my favorite movie is I Love You Man. For horror movies, my favorite movie is The Exorcist. So yeah, I kind of choose movies per genre that are my favorite, but I don't have like one specific favorite other than Bambi. Favorite video game and console and why? 
My favorite video game of all time is Final Fantasy VII. Always will be, always has been. It has just always been my favorite game since I was a child and it will never change. I love the game so much, I love the story. Also, anybody else wondering where that fucking remake is? Console, I don't really have a favorite console. I also don't own any consoles right now anyways, so. I also got one super rude submission, which I ended up blocking the person anyways. Just a tip in life. Sending hate to somebody online, first of all, stupid, pointless. Second of all, makes you look stupid and pointless. Anyways, basically they were just like attacking my appearance and shit like that, which is so fucking pathetic. I'm gonna address just like the last couple things that were in the message. I wasn't going to address any part of it, but I figured I should do part of this. It says, put your tits away. So, to that I say, I will show my tits in whichever fashion I wish, to whomever I wish, whenever I wish, Thank you. Also, they asked if I used an extra thick Sharpie to do my eyebrows. <laughs> Which, by the way, I think my eyebrows look great, so fuck you. Um, but also, I use Benefit Gimme Brow. Great product. $30, a little expensive. Great product. Also, let's be honest. It's probably not so much that you dislike me. It's more the fact that you follow someone or you like someone who dislikes me. So, again, kind of sad. <laughs> Like, you know what? My eyebrows might not be up to your standards, but you decide to pick on people online and try to make them feel like shit about themselves, so that kind of makes you a piece of shit. And which one is really worse? Which one? Which one? Anyways, on that note, that is the end of all the questions that we got today. Hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A. If you did, be sure to subscribe. Also, a reminder that Mondays are now Magic Mondays on my channel where I put up Disney videos. So this Monday will be our first Magic Monday, and it's a good one. So make sure you subscribe. I'm not going to ask you to like, hit the bell icon because I don't think anybody actually has my notifications on. If you do, let me know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, all the links are down below. So is my Discord channel. So I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!